how to download, install, and use the Yubico Authenticator app and YubiKey for two-factor authentication 2FA. In this video, we'll start off by downloading and installing the end-user tool known as Yubico Authenticator. This is one of the safest authenticator apps, and it is available cross-platform on many operating systems, such as mobile and desktop. Once we've got it installed on our operating system of choice, we'll then plug in our YubiKey to connect it to the Yubico Authentication app, and we'll use the Yubico Authentication app and our YubiKey as 2FA for our X account in this video demonstration. Let's start off by downloading and installing the Yubico Authenticator app. To do this, open up your browser and navigate to yubico.com. Once you're here, navigate to where it says support and click on it. Then look for downloads and click on downloads. Scroll down until you see where it says end user tools and look for the Yubico Authenticator. Click on downloads, then click on download now. On the left is Yubico Authenticator for desktop and on the right is for mobile. For mobile, you've got Android and iOS, and for desktop you've got Linux, Mac, and Windows. Now I'm on Windows, so I've got two options, download from the Microsoft App Store or download for Windows directly, 64-bit. I'm going to be going with the 64-bit version, so I'm just going to click on it. The download will then commence, and I'll be back with you once the download has completed. It's a relatively small file, so it should be downloaded rather quickly. All right, I'm back, so the download was really fast. Now I'm on the Google Chrome browser, so I'm going to navigate to the top right-hand corner of my browser. I'm going to click on the Downloads icon, and then I'm going to look for the Yubico authenticator.msi file and I'm going to click on it to start the Yubico authenticator setup wizard. Click next to begin the installation process. Read the end user license agreement in your own time. If you accept it, click on I accept the terms in the license agreement and then click on next. Choose a destination folder to install the Yubico authenticator. If you're not happy with the default installation path, you can click on change and then choose an appropriate location. I'm going to go with the default, so I'm going to click on next, followed by clicking on install. If you're on Windows like myself, you'll be greeted with the user account control, which asks you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You have the option to click on no or yes. If you want to commence with the installation of Yubico Authenticator, you'll need to click on yes. Once you've done that, the installation has completed. Click on finish. Now on Windows, the Yubico Authenticator app does not open immediately. You'll need to open it yourself. To do this, click on the search box, and then you should be able to see it on the left-hand side. As you can see, it's there, Yubico Authenticator. If you don't, simply search for it in the search box at the top by typing Yubico authenticator and there we go it's right here you can simply click on it to open it or you can click on open on the right hand side and there we go the application has now opened i'm just going to click on the maximize symbol here to maximize the window for better viewing at the top left you can see no yubikey is present that's because i haven't inserted my yubikey so we'll need to do that first before we can use the app so i'm just going to grab my yubikey and i'm going to insert it into the usb slot once done it'll automatically be detected by the yubico authenticator app if you look at the top left you can see it's detected my YubiKey 5C NFC. You can see the serial number and the firmware version. You can also see it here in the Home tab. You've got accounts, pass keys, certificates, slots. And on the right, you've got toggle applications, enable disable applications. You can factory reset your YubiKey to its defaults. You can access the Yubico Authenticator application settings to change your application preferences. And you've got help and about to troubleshoot and support. Okay, so now that we've run through the basic user interface of the Authenticator app, we can begin using it for two-factor authentication for an online account. I'm going to be using my X account. So within the application, click on accounts, and here you'll get started with OTP accounts. Add accounts to your YubiKey from any service provider that supports OATH, TOTP slash HOTP. On the right, you can see a setup to add account. We've currently got zero out of 32 used. And underneath, we've got manage set password, password protection of accounts. We're going to be setting up an account for our X account. So we're going to click on add account. Here, you can scan the QR code or enter the credential details manually. So first, we'll need to get the QR code or credential details from the authentication 2FA section of our online account. So to do this, I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to navigate to my X account tab. My X account is called Websplaining and I'm currently logged in. So first what I'm going to need to do is click on more and then click on settings and privacy. In here click on security and account access and then click on security again to manage your account security. In here look for where it says two-factor authentication and click on two-factor authentication. You've got three options. You can either use text message, authentication app or security key. So you can in fact use YubiKey as a security key directly without the YubiCo authentication app. So I'm going to be using authentication app for the YubiCo 
Auth app. This will allow the Yubico Auth app to get a verification code to enter every time you log into X. So it's just a way to have two-factor authentication in a very secure manner. So I'm going to click on the checkbox here for authentication app. It will then prompt me to enter my X account password. So I'm just going to click on this text box and type in or paste in my password and click on confirm. Okay, it's asking me to verify my identity. So when I click on send code, which I'm going to do now, it will send me a verification code to my email inbox. So I'll be back with you when I got that code. I got the verification code and I'm going to enter the code into this text box and then click on confirm. And we're now greeted with the XS 2FA setup window. So in two steps, we're going to link an authentication app to our X account and we're going to enter the confirmation code. Click get started. Next, you'll need to link your X account using the QR code by scanning it using your Yubico Authenticator app. I'm not going to scan the QR code as I don't have a camera or webcam on my PC and I'm not using the mobile version of Yubico's Authenticator app. So I'm going to click on can't scan the QR code and then we'll receive a code which we'll need to enter into the Yubico Authenticator app to link it to our X account. So I'm going to copy this code by highlighting it and then right clicking on it and then I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to open back up the Authenticator app. So for the issuer it's going to be X. The account name is Websplaining as that's the name of my X account and the secret key is the code I just copied so I'm going to paste that in. Below you can choose the type of 2FA process you need to do within the Auth app. The most common one is time-based where you've got SHA-1, 30 sec, 6 digit or required touch which is unique to the YubiKey and the Yubico Authenticator app as the YubiKey is a physical device. I'm going to click on require touch and then I'm going to click on save and as you can see now we've added our X account we've now got one out of 32 accounts used. Open back up your browser and click on next. Now we'll need to enter the confirmation code. This is the code that the Authenticator app generates and we'll need to enter it into here. So go back to your Yubico Authenticator, click on your account, so mine's the X account for Websplaining, and you can either double click right here or you can click on Calculate. What I'm going to do is simply double click on my account. And as you can see, I'm now prompted to touch my YubiKey. So I'm just going to press in the middle of my YubiKey on the glowing Y. And as you can see, the code by the Yubico Authenticator app has been generated. So I'm just going to enter this code now. So it's 8794 879430. And then I'm going to click on confirm. And there we go, we're all set. We have now set up 2FA using the Yubico Authenticator app and our YubiKey. So it's important to save the backup code in a safe place. So this is my backup code. I'm going to highlight it, I'm going to right click on it, and then I'm going to click on copy. So it's probably a good idea to save this in a text editor or an encrypted E2E end to end encrypted app for your own security. Now, because this is a video demonstration, I'm just going to click on done, but you should get backup code which is right here and save that. So I'm just going to proceed and click on done. And there we go. The Authenticator app on X has now been checkmarked. 2FA is now set up on our X account. So the next time we log out and log back into our X account, we'll be prompted to use our Authenticator app, which is the Yubico Authenticator plus our YubiKey to log in. So you've now got enhanced security on your online account. In my case, it's the X account. And that pretty much concludes this video on how to download, install and use Yubico Authenticator app and YubiKey for two-factor authentication to FA. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so